Good morning, Earth Angels. How are you today? This message is a... Oh, this tarot reading is a message. Or should be. Hopefully is. Um, for today. Just an energy check-in. This is for all light workers, witches, earth angels, wizards, practices, practice, blah, 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 practitioners of earth magic. <clears throat> um, yeah. If you clicked on it because it resonated for you, then the message may be for you. So, there's that. Um, I'm feeling very calm this morning, um, feeling very grounded. I went to a static dance last night and it was wonderful, I had to shake the whole body and I had some sadnesses caught up in me, so it was a good time for me to wiggle giggle and shake them loose and let them pass through and I'm really grateful that I can do that I find movement to be so healing uh, and I've injured my back in a few places and there's been times when movement may not have been a true possibility for me uh, going forward after those injuries and the mind is a very powerful thing. I've had no surgeries. Physical therapy, massage therapy, stretching, yoga, dietary changes. I mean, I had, to, I had to alter my life, but I still have movement in my life. Totally worth the effort and energy. And bringing the stress levels down was crucial. One of the primary things that helped me heal was altering my level of stress and how seriously I take everything. I was a very, very serious person because it's all so serious. It's all so real. But to me at that time, that was a true statement. Now it's, it's so, somewhat serious. It's somewhat real. Um, yeah. Anyway, let's get into it. Let's get into the day. Spirit. Oh, I just knocked something over in the cab of my truck. That's kind of comical, but not really. Anyway, um, spirit, please be with me now as I go within the tarot. Help me to bring forth the most clear, concise, accurate messages for our Earth Angel Collective, for our light workers. Let's start with the overall energy for this day. What is the overall theme? of this day in Earth School for our Earth Angels. Oh, Three of Swords, painful thoughts. Um, quite often that's viewed as the heartbreak card. Oh, that's... Spirit, what more can you tell me about this Three of Swords energy? Well, what's going on here? The wheel of fortune. The wheel is turning and things may be changing in a way that you're uncomfortable with. The three of swords is a perspective, it's a thought. Those are thoughts that if you change your perspective on it, they may not be painful anymore. So what else is this about, Spirit? So the Wheel of Fortune is turning. Is it turning in the favor of? Strength. A Leo could be involved. Um, but it could be turning because of inner strength in the face of that mental challenge. And you'd be like, well, it's a broken heart. How's that mental challenge? It's how you're viewing it. But they've left me for somebody else. And that is their choice. Um, 
they're not the only person in this world for you. There's a lot of us here and a lot of us, this was my soulmate. You have lots of soulmates. I'm just gonna put that out there. You have lots and lots of soulmates. Um, if something ends with one of them, once you clear the pain around it, another one will show up. That's how it goes. One door closes, another one opens. So strength is turning the wheel of fortune for you. And this has to do with a three of swords energy. What else do we, what else can we say about this spirit? What else can we talk about here? Two of cups. So it's about love. It's about sharing love. It's not just about loving. It's about love that is shared. That's the two of cups. What else can we say, spirit? What else can we say about this wheel of fortune turning? What's this bringing in? Or did you already give me the two of cups? You already did, so. What more can you tell me about this wheel of fortune turning? So inner strength is causing the wheel to spin. What else do we have for the earth angels for this day in earth school? And the 10 of pentacles is coming in. Physical abundance, abundance in the physical world. We have two of cups, the 10 of pentacles. Tap, I'm out, that's good. That's all I'm looking for. That's all most of us are looking for. Um, yeah. Whoa, cards are just a flipping. And a nine of cups, which is personal happiness and satisfaction. Your cups are filled and they're overflowing. And you're the one filling them. The activities of your life, the what makes up your life. You know, your your job, if it's something you enjoy, which it, hopefully it is, um, your craft. If you volunteer and you get a lot of satisfaction out of helping, those are those are ways of filling your cup. Um, you make art, you make like to make jewelry, and then when people, you know, buy that from you and they they seem excited and happy with it, that can, woo, that fills my cup. Um, that's the nine of nine of cups. It's not, oh, this person likes me and that person likes me. I'm getting attention over here and I'm getting attention over there. Those are shallow cups. Those aren't the full enriching cups because that's only splashing your ego. Anyway, um, Spirit, what advice do we have for the Earth Angels for this day? The Magician. Make it happen. Focus on what you want to have and what you want to see happen, and it will. The advice is the magician. The advice is saying you have all the tools available to you to make it happen the, what it is. Any other advice, spirit, that we have for the Earth Angels for this day? It seems to be very worldly, kind of, kind of a day, getting around, getting away from some negative thoughts. And two cards popped out for the last advice. And it's an Ace of Cups. An Ace of Cups is an offering of new love. And the Empress. Know your worth and know your value. And make the offer. Earth Angels, I hope this resonated for you. I hope uh, this message found you well and in good spirits and ready for this day. Whatever this Three of Swords energy was, you're going to handle it fine. Know that you have the strength, and in having the strength, you're going to cause the wheel to turn for you, and it turns in your favor. It definitely does. Well, that's all I have for you this morning and this day, Earth Angels. I'm just going to wish you a happy Friday, because I'm posting it on a Friday, um, but the, the message is timeless, so whenever you click on it, it's right for you. <sighs> sending you peace, sending you love, and hoping to see you in a few.
future video. Take care, Earth Angels. I love you.